Well, good evening, Parkrest. My name is Adrian, and this is Rihanna, and we are the pastors of the Family Ministries team. We're so excited that you could join us for our Family Ministries Advent service. That's right. We have so many fun things planned for you tonight. I yeah. heard Norman Tammy might be making an appearance. They're amazing. Really? I think they're, like, just okay, but... I Anyway, okay. we've also got a retelling of the Christmas story, and we're starting off with worship. So gather around, you don't want to miss it.
morning. Good morning. And welcome to the news and notes with your friendly neighborhood news anchor, Dormit. Holiday edition. I'm here at Park Crest Christian Church, getting ready for the finest Christmas celebration with my friends, Tammy and the Colonel. Uh, tastes like Christmas. And it smells like Christmas, too. It's because I fought it. Holy smokes! It's the coolest person in the Christmas party. Totally Tammy. Happy holidays to you as well also. Gosh, I feel like I haven't seen you since you left on your skateboarding world tour. My skateboarding world tour, that's right, you know. I skateboarded here all the way from Alaska. Guess what? Huh? I came here to visit my family for the holidays. Family. <laughs> Damn. Hey! Huh? Did I catch you doing the, uh, the old news and notes? Yeah, you got me doing the news and notes. Are notes. there real life people in there right now in the camera? Yeah, there's Oh no my camera. gosh, hi, 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 hello, good, hi. hi. You caught me during the news and notes holiday edition. And I was just about to talk about my Christmas tradition. Traditions, yeah. I love Christmas traditions. Can I tell you my favorite? Can I, can I, ha, 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 Yeah. Yeah, my favorite is the Christmas tire. When I was younger, my father told me this. Now, Tammy, we're letting you pick your own Christmas attire this year, so be sure to pick a good one. Since then, it's been tradition to take pictures with my Christmas attire. Your father said Christmas uh, tire? Yeah, totally, absolutely, 100%. Don't even have to think about it a little bit. Okay. My family does this other tradition. We go all out in decorating our Christmas tree. Uh -huh. And then we do a few things around it. Oh, like what? Well, we do Christmas karaoke. <laughs> And then, we do a dance party. Yay! And then, we do Christmas charades. Yay! It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a jolly good Christmas time. The tree is a pivotal part of our Christmas celebration. And that is why I'm excited to celebrate the Christmas tree lighting with everybody at Parkrest right now! There's the tree! Now! There's the tree! Oh yeah, boss! I forgot to mention. I what? found I well, I found a note from from Coinal Criminal outside and and it had a lot of words on it, but I did uh, spill hot chocolate on it. Do you want to see though? Yes. Okay. Give me the notes. Okay. What? What? A lot of folds. Give me the notes. Testy, testy. Norman, unfortunately, no Christmas cheer. I'm taking your tree, kitchen, study. Student center? Worry a lot. They're gone. Forever. Criminal. Criminal! He's taken the Christmas tree and the Christmas decorations. Christmas tree, but not this one. Yes, we have to go find him. Okay. Let's go! Well, uh, while we search for Coino Criminal, I guess enjoy this telling of the Christmas story. Take it away, narrator. Yikes, it sounds like Norm and Tammy have quite a chase. It is never fun to have things disrupted. Has that ever happened to you? 
Have you ever had plans that were disrupted or canceled? If you are living in 2020, then you certainly have felt that, and I am sure you are nodding your head yes. But imagine this. What if our disrupted plans were still in God's plan to give us a far better ending than we could ever imagine? The Christmas story reminds us of this. It reminds us of how true this is and how faithful God is to bring us joy, peace, hope, and love even in our most disrupted times. So join me as we read the first Christmas story. Our story begins with people, Mary and Joseph, two seemingly ordinary people who love one another and intended to become married. But before Mary and Joseph got married, the angel of God came to Mary and shared some astonishing news. God had chosen Mary to be Jesus's mother. God told her, that she would become pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. When Joseph found out, he was hurt and confused. He didn't understand how Mary could be pregnant unless she was unfaithful to him. So when Joseph's plan to get Mary got disrupted, he was so hurt that he almost called off his relationship with Mary. But before Joseph could go through with this plan, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The angel told Joseph that the child Mary was carrying was from the Holy Spirit, and there was no reason Joseph shouldn't marry her. Joseph was amazed and overjoyed by this incredible news. The angel told Joseph that the baby boy would fulfill God's promise to send his people to a savior, and the baby should be named Jesus. So Joseph and Mary had plans to be married, only to have those plans disrupted by God. But from the disruption, they were promised a child who would be the hope for the world. We may not know where all the disruptions for uh, our lives will bring us, but we can trust that God has a plan and a purpose for it. The story doesn't end there. But let's check back in with Norm and Tammy to see where their journey is headed to. Oh, oh you okay, oh. boss? Yeah. Oh, you. We're on the hunt for a colonel criminal. We believe he could be in the kitchen. Let's go. The kitchen. Got that him. is a kitchen, yeah. Yeah, we got him now. Yeah, we got him now. Ah! Got him now, colonel. Sanders. Well, howdy. I'm Colonel Sanders. Would you like a tender thigh or leg this evening for your Christmas dinner? It's only $17.99 and they're finger licking good. We don't have time for all of these. No, we don't. Oh. I guess. Want some? No thanks, I'm a pescatarian. <laughs> well, good. Well, Colonel, you see any other colonels around here? Well, I ain't no bona fide Einstein, or I'm not really good with shapes or numbers or even letters. But I think I saw a colonel in the study. Right, to the study room. Let's go. All right, to the loo now. Look, boss, there he is. Let's get him. All right, on three. Ready? Four. Three. 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 We got you now. We got you we now. Got you now. Wait a minute. We found Coinal Mustard in the study <laughs> with his Bible. It's not funny, Tammy! Colonel Mustard. You know of any other colonels running around here? Well, I reckon you can find one in the student center. Right. The student center. The student center. There he is, Tammy. Okay, let's be very quiet. Okay! Quiet! Got you now, Colonel! Criminals! Don't double! Hey, I'm eating here! Where's the 
real Colonel Criminal! Oh, you are Colonel Criminal. He's uh taking taking chairs somewhere. Oh, I don't know, I'm just a stunt double. Drats! Let's just go back to the office, Tammy. So Norm and Tammy went in search of a Christmas tree because it re represented a sign of hope for Norm. Likewise, on the night Jesus was born, there was a star that shined brightly in the night sky, and it attracted the attention of three magi, or three wise men. The wise men searched after the light, for they believed it was where Jesus, the hope of the world, would be. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they asked King Herod where they could find the child who was the king of the Jews. King Herod was upset that someone other than him would be crowned king. So he told the Magi to find the child and to come back to tell him where the child is so he could worship the child as well. But Herod had no intention of worshiping Jesus, but killing him. The Magi followed the star until they reached the town of Bethlehem. At the end of their long and difficult journey, they found Mary, Joseph, and the hope of the world, Jesus. Despite the humble surroundings, the wise men knew they were in the presence of holiness. They presented Jesus with three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, which were types of the gifts you would give to a king. As the wise men were heading back from their visit with Jesus, God appeared warning everyone of King Herod's plan to kill Jesus so everyone was able to escape unharmed. And Jesus would be able to live on to be our sacrifice and raise from the dead to become our eternal King. So there you have it, folks. The story of Christmas reminds us of how faithful and loving God is. He sent his only son down to be the hope for us, for the entire world. It shows that no worldly disruptions can overcome what he has prepared in Jesus Christ. And for that, we have reason to have hope, peace, and joy, and love for one another. Speaking of sharing love, let's see how Norm and Tammy story ends. Can't believe we didn't find him. It's okay, boss. It's all right. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> hey, look! There he is! It's not what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. I've got you now, criminal. Go, boss. Go. Ah! Run, run, Colonel. No one's gonna tackle you, Dad. Oh, like that? Like I just said, Norman tackle you down. letter yeah I got your letter and it said you're stealing the tree and the decorations no I'm going to put the tree and the decorations back huh come on I don't get it criminal your note says you stole the Christmas tree yeah that note has hot cocoa spilled all over it oh, oh. sorry I got butterfingers the real note says Norman, thank you for inviting me to this year's Christmas service. Unfortunately, I cannot attend because I found a family that might have no Christmas cheer. So I'm taking your tree and some decorations from the kitchen, study, and the student center. Don't worry a lot. I'm sure you won't even notice they're gone. Forever your friend, James Criminal. Wow, Coino Criminal, that was super thoughtful in the kind-hearted of you. Thank you, Tammy. This year hasn't gotten according to plan for a lot of families, so I've been actively looking for ways to help other people. Ah, very nice, very nice. That's amazing, Criminal. And I personally want to say I'm sorry. I thought you were just thieving and robbing us of Christmas joy in the Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I mean, mostly because he got so waked up, but uh, me too. <laughs> Nothing of it, my friends. Oh, guess what? 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 They all 
also got the Christmas tree back. Huskibbity oh. doodle! Oh, 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 that's amazing! Oh, whoa! Oh, yeah! Isn't it wonderful? It is fantastic indeed. And I'm so glad that we are able to have Christmas cheer, even in the most disrupted of times, because our God is that faithful. I'm your friendly neighborhood news anchor, Norman. And I'm Colonel James Criminal. And I'm totally Tammy. And these are the news and notes. Holiday, Holiday edition. Take it away, worship team! Thank you all for joining us for this Advent service. That was really fun, right? So much fun. So much fun. And we just want to say that we miss both students and children so much. So, students, children, if you can, give your parents a high five, a hug, something for us. That way yeah. you can just feel that connection because we really, really do miss you. And for any parents that want to connect with us further, you can go to parkcrest.org slash parents dash portal slash parent dash portal ah, slash, slash dash parent. all right parents. very good yeah got it <laughs> <laughs> with that being said we would like to leave you all with a blessing so if you could just extend your hands kids students parents do it all together extend your hands Park Crest families, may the God who is the mighty counselor, Prince of Peace, invade your homes, invade your spaces in this season. May you be reminded that God is the light even in the darkest of times. May you feel his presence and his love this holiday season. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And with that being said, that's it. That ends it. our time together. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're so glad you were here and happy holidays. Take care. Did you know <laughs> that I was here <laughs> to visit my <laughs> All this running around has made me quite hungry. <gasps> Colonel, you seen any other colonels around here or not? <laughs> Would you like a tender thigh or leg this evening? They're finger licking good. All right, cool. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Hold on. Sorry, I'm distracted. It's so funny with you holding it. You're so drunk. Oh! Mustache is all fine. No, no, no. Makeup. Makeup. Ah!